Hey guys, um, here I'm going to show you how to install Installus and how to use it. As, as you can see, I already have it on my iPhone. It's right here. So the first thing you want to do is go to your Cydia. Remember, this phone, the, your iPhone has to be jailbroken and has to have Cydia. Now I'm running on a 3GS with the software or version of 4.0. Uh, it works the same way if you have the 3GS 3.13 version. I'm pretty sure with any other version as long as it's jailbroken. Now, once you've uh, got into uh, Cydia, you want to go to your manage. Go to sources. Now, as you can see, Hackless, it's installed already. That's where you get installers. Um, which first step you want to do is go to manage source and then edit add and then you're going to type in uh, the source which is Cydia dot hack ulo dot us now I already have it installed so I'm not going to go ahead and add the source um, if you can't see this or you missed it it will be in the uh, description um, so you could I'm going to press cancel but you will press add source once you install you come back to your sources and back to your um, to here and you click on this there's going to be a couple things you want to install the first thing is the depending on what version you're running on 3.13 uh, 3 version or the 4.0 I am running the 4.0 so I install this one the next thing you want to do is install Hecula security it has to protect uh, from malicious you know things and the next one installs which is the program where it allows you to install the apps and the source GUI whatever it's called you wouldn't want to install that the metadata remover don't worry about that that's another app that I've installed it won't be on yours so don't worry about it so source install this security and depending on the version you have that's the four things you're going to want to install. Once you've done all that correctly, that's when you will see the app on your iPhone. It should be a green, green button like this one. Uh, and you have installed install this. Now, for, for sakes of uh, just for kicks and giggles, we're going to go ahead and install. Let's go to entertainment. Popularity. Um, shoot. let's try a pocket god. Now, once you click on whatever you want to install, it's going to give you a description of the uh, app or what it, whatever it is, just like the app store. And if you keep scrolling down, sometimes it'll give you pictures. So you can see what it's going to look like. And you can, uh, sorry, it's a little laggy. And it gives you uh, what the game or whatever it is is going to look like. If you keep scrolling down, it will tell you when it got release date, the version, the size of the app, and the price. That's usually in the app store. Once you decide that's what you want to download, you press this green button right here where it says download. And it's going to give you a list. Sometimes the list is big, sometimes the list is small, but a list nevertheless. You click on, I just click on the first one. What you want to click on here, regardless of what things pop up, just advertisement, you want to click on this one the blue bar or just download normally that's what you want to click on now it's going to ask you to put a code I'm pretty sure it's to verify you're human and not a computer or something yeah wait give it a second to uh, download these advertisements there you go and it's case case sensitive so if it tells you capital Put capital if lowercase, put lowercase. Oops. Ok, 
Okay, if you enter it correctly, it should give you this right here, download, right in the middle. If you done that correctly, you pretty much click on that, and your download starts. See in the bottom, downloads, click on that, and it tells you that it's connecting. It usually takes a few seconds to uh, start up. If it fails, doesn't connect for whatever reason, uh, the power of your reception or it could be the person you, you're downloading from. So all you got to do is just go back to the steps, pick a different person, and do the same thing. Sometimes it's just connection drop, so you have to do it like, uh, again. But don't worry about it. It usually it connects and starts up. So here you go. It started. Uh, once it's downloaded... I don't know how long it's going to take, it says, keep jumping back and forth. But once it's downloaded, you click on the button, you click install, and that's pretty much it. You go back to your home button, and it's installed. Now, one thing to remember, when you are installing from, from uh, installers, do not exit the program until it's finished installing. If you do... The, t the installation will terminate and it will not uh, download or if it does download uh, it's going to be half of the program not the full version so it's not going to work properly so remember stay in the uh, in installers until you finish downloading the program that you want to download um, might take a while or it doesn't matter to me I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. Just it was just for the sake of showing you how to download. Once you download it, you go back to your Windows, and it should be on your iPhone. That's it, guys. Pretty much it. How to install installers and how to use it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them. I'll try to answer as best as I can. Please leave your comments. Um, if you think I left something out, let me know. Um, pretty much it. Subscribe and uh, stay tuned. I will be. Uh, adding some more videos on my top 10 CDI apps um, and other stuff. So uh, check me out. Leave your comments.